In today's video, <coughs> I'm going to show you how to use the mirror command in the sketch environment. So, when working in the sketch environment, obviously when we start a new sketch, we need to go and find a uh, work plane or flat surface to work on. So, I've just chosen one of the origin planes over here as I'm starting off a new sketch. Now, <coughs> what we've got over here, I'm going to create a, um, you know, a sort of a, a gasket plate. And you know, and I'm going to show you how you can do it with the mirror command. So if I go to, for instance, rectangle, arc, 2D point, you can see where I want this to be. So now I have it inches, so I'm going to make it to millimeters. And the nice thing about Inventor is that when working in Inventor, <coughs> I'm, you know, I can just type in 50 millimeters, even though it was asking me for inches, and it will create that for me. So I'm going to go 90 degrees, enter, and there we go. Now it's created two construction lines over there. Um, now what I can do is I'm going to go and just select create a little circle over here as well as a circle over here. And I'm gonna go make these two equal. So select that and select that so it's equal. And um, once I've done that, then I'm just gonna go and trim off my, my components over here. So let's just go and trim this off and trim this off over here. Okay, so I mean, I can go in and go put in uh, die, you know, sort of dimensions over there, but I'm just going to keep this as a, as a conceptual design at the moment. Okay, so now let's go take a look at the mirror command. So with the mirror command, select mirror, select the geometry that I want to use. Okay, and just, just note this when I, you know, when I was, um, let's go back to the mirror command, and just when I'm selecting it, you know, I selected you know, this one and this one. And then when I selected the bottom one over here, I accidentally selected the middle arc as well, which actually deselects it. So just hold down control, or, you know, when you be doing this to that, to be able to select that over there, or make sure that you just select the uh, circle at the bottom. Okay, so now that I've done this, I'm gonna select my mirror line and click on apply. And then you'll see there, it creates a mirror cross. Um, and I'm going to do the same for this now again. So select all my geometry on both sides. Select the mirror line over there. Click on apply and done. So I've got those components over there. Now what I want to do is just, you know, s create that um, the hole for the gasket over there. And what I can do now is I could use the mirror command again. And then I could, you know, mirror it across. Um, select one there mirrored across, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the rectangle, the circular command. Okay, circular pattern command, select my geometry, select the center point it needs to rotate around, and you'll see that it doesn't look correct because I haven't got the correct number of holes in. So select four, there we go, click on OK, and I made a bit of a mistake there. Let's see what happened over there. Uh, select that okay so what I'm gonna do over here I'm just gonna give it a I think what happened over there was I um, I created created it and I think somewhere there was a dimension that was put in there. that's why it, it shrunk like that so when something like this happens I just was gonna go change my document settings to uh, millimeters as well okay, so I understand millimeters a little bit more okay so now what I can do is just remember when you're working in this just go and put in one dimension um, what that does is it just resizes everything. Okay, that's I'm happy with that. Okay, so once that's done, now we can go through to our circular array or pattern. Sorry, select my circle, select the center point where it's going to array around or pattern around. Select four and click on OK. Okay, I don't know. So it's all gone very very small. Okay, which means that. I'm going to actually have to go and put some more dimensions in over here. So let's, okay, so the quickest way to do this <coughs> is let's go automatic dimensions and constraints, apply, constraints, okay, okay this is a bit crazy here. Let's see what's going on. So we've done that. Let's dimension this here. Okay. Okay, accept that. So that's all over there. Select this dimension. This okay, let's see. One dimension needed. 
so that one dimension let's see where it is looking for that okay we accept that okay let's try that again so these are some of the issues that you will see when you you know working in events so it's, it's a bit of a non-traditional way that i've done this i just wanted to show or um highlight the way that you would do the um, mirror command and now i'm trying to do the the circular pattern and it's still not working and fail to create okay okay so with it you know with any kind of modeling i mean you know there's Texas as a learning uh learning point over here doesn't want to do it um i'm actually not too sure why um but you know you have many ways to skin a cat so there we go you can see i've created that over there and then i can just go and create another circle over here so one of the things that you take out of this is that sometimes it's quicker to go and either do a different way you know create it in a different way or actually just recreate it instead of trying to troubleshoot always say you know you want to get the design out as quickly as possible um and by by doing it like this um you know just by recreating it you know i've had to recreate those two circles over there i've got my design out so now i can just go to my um my command or my extrude command and create that gasket over there okay cool and there we go okay so not the best way of doing it but i just wanted to show you the the way that you create the mirror command and then you know as we saw in the menu we got into a bit of trouble and then how to fix that so if one way doesn't work there's always another way that you can uh, make it work and that's the nice thing about autodesk inventor is that it's got um, many different ways to do one thing so if one way doesn't work um and you know you don't have time to troubleshoot you know also, you know um, you know ask a friend or whatever it is then you can basically go in um, and just do it another way and then go and complete your design thanks very much for watching